Hi everyone, let's understand how we can calculate skewness and kurtosis using Excel. But before starting this Excel practice, I just want to share with you what do you mean by skewness and what do you mean by kurtosis. So let me share this PPT. Uh, skewness and kurtosis. First of all, skewness is a measure of the asymmetry of a distribution. A distribution is asymmetrical, it's left and right side are not mirror images, a distribution can have right, we can call it positive skewness, left side, negative skewness, or zero skewness. So I'm just showing you basically skewness and kurtosis we are using to check the asymmetry and or symmetry of the data or normality of the data. So I'm just showing you what is skewness, how we can draw this, you can see here. First is Ideally, this curve should be bell-shaped means at this point, we can say mean equal to median, mean equal to median, and median equal to mode, median, and median equal to mode. So this is, we can call it, this situation means data is absolutely normal, and here is skewness zero. This is under this category. Let me come to the second curve. Let's say curve is like that. That is negative skewness. Negative means this side you can see negative pole and this side positive and in the middle that is zero, right? So this is skewed towards negative side and this is known as negative or we can call it left. And we can draw here positive also. Here is, you can see how we can call it positive skewness. Let me correct it. I will draw here in the middle. You can simply, you can see positively skewness that is. So here is, that is positively positive side that is skewed. So, and this is right side or we can call it positive skewness. So, I hope you understand what is skewness. Then we come to the, what is kurtosis? Kurtosis is a measure of whether the data are heavy tilt or light tilt relative to a normal distribution. That is data set with high kurtosis tend to have heavy tilts or outliers. That means data set is having outliers. Both of these things we are using to check the data set, to, to check the normality of the data set. So data set with low kurtosis tend to have light tails or lack of outliers. A uniform distribution that would be, we can see here, the value for symmetric and kurtosis between minus 2 and plus 2. That is considered acceptable in order to above normal univariate distribution. That is why citation is here, George and Mallory, 2010. But here at all, Professor here in 2010 and Brain, 2010, argued that data is considered to be normal if skewness is in between minus 2 to plus 2. And kurtosis is in between minus 7 to plus 7 to be, to be the extreme case. So one by one, we will understand positive skewness. You can see I had uh, showed earlier also positive. You can see median, mean value would be at the lowest side, then median and then mode. That is positive. Symmetric means mean equal to median, median equal to mode. All are equal. That is zero. That means we can call it skewness. Uh, that is normally distributed data. And when we talk about negative skewness, you can see this is the flattened tail towards the negative side and mean, median, and mode, right? This is the reverse data. So I hope you understand. When then we come to the uh, types of kurtosis, you can see here, this is the, this is our data set. Here is when the curve is, I'm using another color pen. You can see when the curve is flattened, you can see this curve is flattened. So that is platycuretic, right? That is negative. And this is the, we can say, that is the normal one. That is musicalitic. That means that 
at this point data is set is normally distributed and leptokinetic means that is positively positive side right so i hope you understand and let me share my excel sheet and i have taken this data set you can see from starting from 42 and this is the last data entry is 25 i just want to check skewness so let me use skewness simply i just want to check skewness and how we can calculate in excel simply what we have to do we will write here i will just put it formula here here is formula is i am just writing skew and you can select here skew and in this skew you can select your data set my data set is this my data set and uh, after selecting this i will close the bracket and press enter now you can see this is my data as it is i had already shared in the in this on this screen you can see 1.2 and 1.2 this this is the skewness and kurtosis of this particular data set let me calculate kurtosis kurtosis so how we can calculate kurtosis equal sign and simply you have to press q q K U R T K U R T. Simply select this and select this data set. I have selected this data set, and now I would close the bracket, press enter. Now you can see this is the value of kurtosis, and uh, let me little bigger the right. So you can see 1.2 is skewness and 1.8 is kurtosis. That means what are the slides I have shown you with citation? We can say our data is positively. Here is skewness. It is not zero. It is positively towards the positive side. I mean, we can say uh, skewness that is positively little bit skewed and 1.8 that is below plus 3 and minus 3. Right, if the minus 1.8, so we can say there is no kurtosis issue. That means data is normally distributed. So I hope this video would be helpful to you. Thank you. Keep watching.